This is Chicago's very own WGN Midday News. Primary election day is over, but the votes are still being counted for the Democratic nomination for Cook County State's Attorney. We might not have a winner for several more days. Good morning, everybody. I'm Patrick Elwood. And I'm Bruno Tumulty in for Dina Bear. Thanks for joining us. Glenn Marshall is at the Board of Elections with the latest. Glenn. Hey, that's right. Now, this is a closely watched race for who will replace Kim Fox in a Cook County State's Attorney's seat. In the meantime, the Board of Elections is telling us that it's just too close to call this race right now. The matchup for the Cook County State's Attorney's seat is between Eileen O'Neill Burke and Clayton Harris III. It's not that we deserve safe neighborhoods. We demand safe neighborhoods. <laughs> We can agree that this has been a hard fought campaign. Now, Burke brings her appellate judge experience, while Harris would bring his professor and attorney experience to the position. It comes after Kim Fox announced she would not seek a third term as a Cook County State's Attorney. The State's Attorney's Office has more than 700 attorneys, making it the country's largest right after Los Angeles. Now, the winner of the Democratic primary would face off against former Chicago Alderman Bob Fioretti, who recently lost the bid for office back in 2020 as well as Libertarian Andrew Charles Kopinski. While both Harris and Burke have come out and said they will continue Kim Fox's approach on some issues, there are some differences in the campaigns. Clayton Harris III says penalties for crime should take racial disparities into account, often speaking about his personal experiences as a black man raising children on the south side in the Washington Park neighborhood. He's received endorsements from the Cook County Democratic Party as well as labor unions. Here's what he had to say last night. Throughout this campaign, you have heard me talk a lot about safety and justice. That's what this campaign has been about. Safety and justice. The fact that this is not an either or proposition, that this is an and proposition. So we are going to count every single vote and we're going to wait for this to come in. While Eileen O'Neill Burke has openly said harsher punishments should be in place, especially for those who contribute to the flow of illegal guns, she received backing from the top Republican donors, also gaining the most in fundraising between the two, raising just under $2 million. Here's what she had to say last night. We all want the same thing. We want a fair and effective justice system. We want a fair criminal justice system. We want illegal guns and assault weapons off of our streets. So keep in mind, we're still waiting on an official count of mail-in ballots to come back in. And it was 109,000 that were requested. So the Board of Elections will have to process and count those as well. And that could take up to April 2nd. Of course, we're going to continue to monitor this and bring you the latest. For now, I'm going to send it back to you guys in the studio. Okay, thank you, 